Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Bex. This is Gentle Herniated Disc Yoga, Crocodile. I'm Becca, and today I'm in the Dominican Republic. Spinal safety awareness, this practice does not have any forward flexion or twisting. Please see the description below before starting. Now grab your mat, and let's find your space. Please join me standing in mountain, feet in parallel, hip feet hip width apart. Press down into your feet, grounding yourself. Rise up tall through your spine. Find extension in your spine, find space. Arms are relaxed by your sides. And breathe, observe your body. How do you feel today? Are you holding on to any emotions? Do you have any tension in your body? Just do a little non judgmental check in. Take one more deep breath. Blink your eyes open. Let's do a little bit of lean back to warm up, warm up the spine. So stay feet hip distance apart. Bring your arms up, hands on your shoulders, on opposite shoulders. Let your elbows relax. Release on your torso. Standing up tall, engage your core. Pressing firmly into the ground, keep your hips where they are, lean your torso back, keep your chin tucked in, and come back to center. And again, press into the ground with your feet, lean back, come back to center, keep going at your own pace here, and back, and come center. Breathe in, relaxed breath, natural breath. One more time, grounding your feet, hips and pressing forward, lean back and back up to center. Come down to the mat through a split squat, take a big step forward, lower your back knee, bring your knees together, sit back on your heels and come down to all fours. From here, let's lower down onto our bellies. So let's shift your knees back a little bit. Keep your spine in neutral, lower down through Chaturanga, Cobra. And from here, we're going to start with um, a version of Superman. So keep your feet hip width apart behind you. Arms are going to come out in front, extend it out beside you, but forward. Forehead on the mat. What you're going to do is lift up an opposite arm and leg together. So let's start with the right leg and left arm. So lif lifting up right leg and left arm, lift your head up a little bit, just in line, same height as your arm, extending through your neck, through your spine, through your back leg, and lower down. Now the other side, left leg, right arm, lift up, Bring your torso up a little bit with that arm. Very nice. Extend and hold. And lower down. Again, other side, right leg, left arm. Extend, rise up. Torso is coming up a little. This time, reach a little higher. Focus on the extension. And breathe. And lower down. Other side again, left leg, right arm. Extend to come up, torso coming up too. 
keeping your eyes down, reach up a little higher and hold. And lower down. Very nice. One more time each side. Stretch through the right leg, extend both legs actually, lift right leg up, left arm up, torso comes up. Find the same height you had last time. Extend. Keep your breath flowing. Take one more deep breath. And lower down. Beautiful. One more side though. Extend your legs, left leg up, right arm up, torso coming up. Extend and breathe. And hold. Take one more deep breath here. And lower down. Beautiful, great work. Now let's do locust pose, Shalabhasana, the full version. Bring your arms behind, palms down on the ground. You can also do your locust pose with your arms just a little bit tucked under. Arms are firmly connected to support. Legs are together, toes pointed. Lift your legs up and torso up, keeping your gaze just a little bit forward on the mat. Full Shalabhasana. Focus on your breath, engage your core. And gently lower down, take a breath here. And extend, legs up, torso up, looking forward on your mat. Focus on extension and your breath. Don't let your breath slip away. Keep extending. Find strength in your breath. Take one more deep breath. And lower it down. Beautiful. Bend your legs. Lift up, torso coming up. Just a little bit at each side, legs and torso. Extend and hold. Find strength in your breath. Take one more deep breath here. And gently lower it down. Bring your arms to the front, like you're making a pillow. What we're going to do is Loma Krasana, a little crocodile here. So elbows coming in a little closer so that your the base of your palms can touch. So connect so that you make a little, a little V for your, for your chin. So elbows are going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Legs are relaxed behind you. Shoulder blades are wide. And relax into your chin rest. And breathe. Let your body relax. Just keep your mind focused. And let's come out. Lift your chin out. Lower your arms. And we're going to do superior pose as our Shavasana for this practice. So bring your head down to the mat, 
forehead on the mat. Your whole body is extended, flat. From here, bring your hands up behind your head. Interlace your fingers. We'll bring your hands to the nape of your neck, the back of the, the lower part of your skull. And let your elbows fall down gently. Let your hands rest on the back of your neck. And breathe. Let your entire body relax. Think about relaxing every body part, every muscle. Breathe into your legs. And relax your legs. Breathe into your torso and relax your torso. Breathe into your hips and relax your hips. Breathe into your shoulders and relax your shoulders. Breathe into your arms and relax your arms. Keep your mind focused in the present moment. Relax your entire body. you find any points of tension remain, breathe into those points. Now start to deepen your breath. Release your hands. Lift your head up. Bring your hands back to press up, engage your core. Press up through all fours. Come up to seated or standing. Come to standing. Come up through that split squat. So, thank you very much for joining me today in this practice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to leave me a comment, I would love to hear your feedback. What you liked, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see more of, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Please also join me on my blog where I talk about all things yoga and herniated discs. One more thing, this week on Instagram, I am doing a poll. I'd love to hear what you would like to see in my next month of viewer requests. So please hop over to my Instagram, check out that poll and let me know what you would like to see. I'll be making videos especially for you. See you over there.